Hello everyone, Yasas. This is Matilda and welcome to Tilda's Cookbook. Today's vegan orange cookies are made with a recipe by a Greek food blogger, Kati Nostimo. Orange cookies are very traditional in Greece, especially around Easter period, but they can be found in bakeries throughout the year. With this recipe are very easy to make and extremely tasty and aromatic. Being vegan are very light textured and make an excellent choice next to coffee or tea. So let's see how to make them. In our bowl, we are going to put the sugar. And the oil. And we're going to mix a little bit to blend the two together. In our orange juice, and I'm using freshly squeezed here, I'm gonna add the baking soda and the ammonia. And see how it's foaming? I'm gonna give them a little mix to dissolve it. And then I'll pour it in my sugar oil mixture. And I'll mix them all together. I'll add the zest of an orange. I'll give it a little mix. And into this, I'm gonna sift my flour and I'll do it in portions. And in here, I'm also going to sift the baking powder. I will mix and I'll keep on adding my flour until I get a nice um, soft dough, which of course I'm going to knead by hand. Right before I get a firm dough, it's uh, still like a butter, I'm going to add a teaspoon of my orange vanilla and also a teaspoon of orange oil, flavored oil. The original recipe said uh, cinnamon or brandy or anything you can imagine or vanilla, but I prefer to have it really orangey. So I decided to do this. It turns out really nice. And I'll keep on adding my flour. And now I'm gonna start mixing it with a spatula until it starts forming a little bit of a dough, which we will we'll need. At the end, we are going to have a nice soft dough that won't be sticking to the hands anymore. Look at this, but it's gonna be nice and soft and we're gonna make it into biscuits. I do a couple of uh, shapes. I take a little bit of uh, a dough, about 20 grams or so, 15 to 20, up to you how big you wanna make them. And I roll them into little balls and what I do after that, I put them in my tray in which I have put some parchment paper and press them down with the bottom part of my meat uh, hammer. And see here, it makes some li nice little design. I leave a little bit of space because they're going to expand. And I continue with the rest. I work with only a little bit of uh, dough at a time and the rest I have it covered with uh, some uh, plastic wrap to prevent it from drying up. And the second shape that I do, it's the traditional Greek orange cookie shape. Again, I take a little bit of uh, a dough, approximately 20 grams again, and I open it up into a string. 
using a little bit of pressure with both my hands and then roll it all the way inside to make a little, as we call it, snail. And again, I put it on a tray with parchment paper. On this badge, I'm going to brush a little bit of milk on top. I'm using evaporated milk to give them some shine while they bake. Of course, this uh, turns them into non-vegan, but they don't really mind. If you wanna fast and you want them totally vegan, you omit this step. After 20 minutes of baking, my first batch is ready. So what I'm going to do now is I'll put them on a cooling rack. See how beautiful they've turned. And now these are going to bake. With my remaining dough, I'm gonna make a third shape. But you can do whatever you want to. Again, I open it up into a string. I fold it all the way one end to the middle and the other end over it. And I make this little design. And this is the second batch of our cookies. We will put them also on a cooling rack to cool down and then we will taste them. And while they're cooling down, I wanted to show you the difference between the two. See how they are? These are a bit more shiny, like on the top because of the milk. I hope you can see, while these are totally matte. No shine at all. Equally delicious, let me tell you, we have already tasted them. We couldn't wait, but let's wait for the last batch to come out and then we will do a proper tasting. And this is my final batch with a different shape. See how nicely they have cooked in the bottom. This dark part here is because of the milk, but it tastes delicious. And let's give it a try to see what we've made, just to show you. Look at these, they're really, really crunchy. Mmm, my friends, they're so fantastic. Mm. Fluffy and crunchy. I'm gonna break another one. Look at that. So crumbly. Absolutely amazing orangey with the flavor and the aroma. Mm. Something else. I urge you to give it a try, my friends. I'm sure you're gonna love this recipe. So, I hope to see you back next time. Until then, happy baking, my friends. Kekalisa Sorexi. Bye-bye, everyone.